Good morning. So why is service important to my faith? What does the Bible say about service? Knowing this makes a difference in the choices that I make. And Jesus tells us how important it is to serve others as a part of leading a Christian life. In Matthew's Gospel, Jesus says to the people, I assure you that when you have done it for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you have done it for me. In other words, if you are helping the poor, you are doing the same for Jesus. So I asked myself, why did Jesus say this? Why is service to others so important? I know it helps them, but how does it help me? How will serving others make a difference in my life? The answer I felt was simple. When you decide to notice, when you decide to act, when you decide to make a difference, even if it's in a small way, you have taken the first step in changing the world. A genuine commitment to others is ultimately a commitment to Christ. So what's in it for me? My actions will not only be appreciated and hopefully they will touch the lives of, lives of both the people I meet and many people I never even see. When you provide service to others, that special feeling you get is God's way of telling you thank you. Thank you for caring. Thank you for making a difference in the world. When we do this, we realize that our actions truly imitate Christ. God will bless you with a rewarding sense of fulfillment that comes from serving him through serving others. And I'll give you a, a brief example um, in my life. If you remember a few years back, Hurricane Sandy and how much uh, destruction was done by that, uh, especially the flooding. So St. Matthew, I joined St. Matthew's uh, mission team to go up to Staten Island and help with some of the folks up there that had been affected by the flooding. And um, the area that we went to was uh, formerly vacation homes, two stories, and the, the salt water, uh, they were about a half a mile from the beach, the salt water had gone all the way up to the top of the house. So the inside of the house was completely inundated with floodwaters. So everything except for the outer shell and the wooden studs had to be taken out. All the insulation, all the drywall, all the carpeting, and even the electrical wires, since they're made of copper, they're not compatible with seawater. So this, these houses had a lot of work, plus a lot of them had a lot of damage. So, um, but since they were formerly vacation homes, nowadays they had the people that owned them and used to go just in the summer would uh, ended up just living there in their um, later years. And um, so these were people that didn't have a lot of income and the insurances weren't, insurance wasn't doing a real good job in trying to reimburse them for the work that needed to be done and they were kind of in a fix and FEMA wasn't really helping. So, um, so we went and we started tearing out the, all that stuff in their houses and, um, <clears throat> And uh, one of the women's houses that we were working on, her son happened to come around and he was just watching us uh, working on these houses. And uh, we struck up a conversation with him and he said that his mom who lived in that house was, uh, had always been asking him to go to church with her. And yeah, she's always bugging me about going to church. He said, and I never wanted to take, I just didn't have the time or, or whatever. And he said, but I look around here and all this devastation in these homes, and the only people I see helping are church people. And there was St. Matthew's, and then there, at that particular, that week, there was also a group from the Latter-day Saints. He said, all I see are church people here helping. He said, I'm rethinking whether or not I want to go to church with my mother from now on. And that's just a sample I never expected that, didn't think of it in that way, that we would make a difference in someone's life, life, but we did, and hopefully he went and told his friends the same thing. So that's just an example of how your service can help. Thanks.